everything. And before we went for the break, we asked you, you can always uh, contribute to the conversation online. And we were asking you, is it possible to have a healthy lifestyle in the modern world? Is it possible to have a healthy lifestyle in the modern world? And let me just sample a few. Uh, Kareel Lenny says it is because mostly youths have opt for morning ex morning exercise, so take Bomet County. Of course, you can always uh, uh, in involve a doctor fitness ke who is my guest uh, dr esther dindi of course in the conversation that is her handle dr fitness ke and the doctor is full doctor the way it's spelled not the dr the short form or tweet me directly at ashley missouri or at ktn news the hashtag to use is weekend express you can always call in and we'll be sampling some of your questions some of your contributions of course she's here to answer them for you uh, so do that don't forget to do that now now, of course, the issue of portions. We were talking about your meal plan before we went for the break. And you mentioned so many small, small portions. And and it's sad, it's sad that I'm using myself as an example for the issue of small portions. For me, it's either for, I for go me, big or go home, you know? Go, go, go big, go prepare. Yeah. That, that works for you. But I would yes. insist that choose healthy foods. But for most of the other people, they, they may not have it your way. Okay, so one, let's talk about the different body mm -hmm. types. Mm -hmm. uh, for us petite people, it's different because we have yeah. a high metabolism rate. Yes. But what about the others? Yeah, so you, you, the petite people, you actually fall in the category of what we call the ectomorphs. So just calorie burners, you're the people wasting food. Yeah. <laughs> oh it's just, you're just kidding. Yeah. I mean, you just burn it off, burn it off. Yes. But it's important to ensure that you're getting your other nutrients. So as much as you need to consume more carbohydrates, you need to get your other nutrients in. But for the other people, uh, so we have the other group, the mesomorphs, the, the people kind of in, in between, they, they can gain some muscle mass, they never get too bulky unless yeah. they really have to over consume and train really heavy. And then the endomorphs. The endomorphs are the people that tend to gain weight very easily and, um, and it's hard to shed the body fat and uh, it's also hard to, yeah, and they can still bulk in terms of muscle. If they really train hard, they can yeah. still get a lot of muscle. So they, they tend to be on the bigger side, like the sumo wrestlers kind mm -hmm. of people. So um, I, I would start with the endomorphs. That's the people tend to be really, uh, really huge. Mm -hmm. and, and these ones need to be very wary of the carbohydrates. I do not advocate for omitting any particular food group, but um, I would say uh, for the endomorphs, the people who have to go very, very, very easy on the carbohydrates. And so there are portions that are the one that typically, like for a lady, should be like your cupped handful. It's, it's really a small portion. Yeah, and then consume more of the, uh, the fat foods. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not talking about margarines, I'm not talking about the fats on the stores. I'm talking about like nuts, um, yeah, nuts and avocados and those kind of foods that have healthy fats, you need to have a bit more of that as opposed to the carbohydrates. Remember, in terms of energy, you get it from your carbohydrates or, or, or your fats, your yeah. healthy fats. So for an endomorph, you need to switch more to the healthy fats as opposed to the carbohydrates. But it's also very tricky. That doesn't mean that you should have so much more of it. So maybe two like tablespoons yes. and then a little carbohydrate and get your lean protein in and don't forget your vegetables. Okay. Uh, for the people in between the mesomorph, then they, they can have uh, you know a little extra of the carbohydrates and and have so theirs is like really a balanced plate and have the the, the, the protein and have the the carbohydrates. I've tried to 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 elaborate that further in the book. Yeah. It's sometimes hard to get it in in terms of yeah, and and then for the ectomorphs that one now you you, you your carbs should be double the portion like two cup handfuls. Yeah. But what happens that sometimes maybe you used to some of them are used to small portions. Then that means you have to eat more frequently like half up up to six meals in a day, mm -hmm. that, that, that would actually do. And, and you're talking more of the carbs and still some protein. Why is protein important? Actually, back to the endomorphs, protein is very important because endomorphs also tend to have higher appetite. You know, you're gaining a lot of weight. You feel like you're eating little and you're gaining yeah. much more. So you have to be careful with your carbohydrates. You have to stay away from sugar drinks, but you must get your protein in. And so I would say in your plate, start with your veggies and protein before you even touch the carbs. If something has to remain in your plate, let it be your, your carbs. Okay. Why? Because protein keeps you full for longer 
and then it makes your satiety hormones, you know, that's, that awareness that your food tends to be heightened if you're having your protein in. Okay. So that is very important. So protein is critical, have your veggies with you. Right. So protein the, is the key? <laughs> <laughs> it is the key. And by protein, um, it could be plant or animal based, but remember plant protein has lots of carbohydrates. Okay. That's something I love to highlight. So if your source of protein is plant based, then uh, like for an endomorph, then you need to, be to uh, you can omit the rice or, or the chapati or the ugali. Mm -hmm. So, because um, plant based protein has carbohydrates, but healthy carbohydrates and will still keep you full for longer yeah. because it has what we call soluble fiber as well. So from now on, henceforth, mm -hmm. um, my friends should stop calling me a hog. It's no, not, they, they should not. Mm, I need to talk to them. Friends? <laughs> they should stop. <laughs> Do you need any meals? You've six of the meals, so six yeah. it is. But I will tell the, your friends to, to watch out for you on my behalf. <laughs> if you're eating junk, they should report to me and I will deal with you anyway <laughs> on a light note. Yes. And then, of course, training. Training, I think, for someone who has been struggling to gain weight, the ectomorphs now, the petite, go for the weights. As in, if you go to the gym, please look for those weights. I know you feel frail, you think your bones are going to break, or oh, no, they're not going to Actually, break. Actually, I've you always <laughs> thought that we petite people, no, I don't want to call cardio. us thin, but we people. No, thin is not good. Petite. Thin is petite is the right. Yeah. Mm. So we petite people actually have strong bones. That's always no, what no, I've no, thought No, 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 no. Your bones tend to be on the weaker side. Actually, uh, petite people are at risk of osteoporosis, and that's the very reason I would insist that a petite person needs to weight train. Okay. So please go to the gym, stay away from the aerobics and zoom. You can do that for warm up like 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're already accelerating your metabolism that's already struggling okay. as in to, to slow down. So, but go to the weight section. Build some muscle. Mm -hmm. It's good for you and you strengthen your bones at the same time. So that's good. And in high school, I remember very well, we, I had classmates who were very petite. Hey, come the babies. <laughs> and things changed. Oh, that's right, right. Yeah, so it happens. Things can actually switch. I say ge ge genetics might, you know, it might, might put you at a certain position, predispose you to a certain, con but you have the hand to play it. Okay. As in, you, you can still change. The petite people have been able to build lots of muscle. The endomorphs, the people have been, who have been able to become very lean and look like mesomorphs. So it's not fixed. You can actually transform your body. So don't shy away from weights. They are okay. good for you. And when the baby comes when actually what happens petite people when they end up becoming big and people are celebrating you yeah you finally gained weight it's not good weight it's unless you've been training in the gym you build some muscle it's not good weight you've actually piled on a lot of fat so you can be looking lean but you know small but you have a lot of body fat percentage mm -hmm. which is actually not good for health you can i've seen people who's Body mass index is within normal, but they have type 2 diabetes. And you know, they are small, but they have a big pot. Yeah. Why? Which Insulin. Which is the next thing we Insulin. need to talk about. <laughs> and it, it applies to both men and women, you know. Yes. The issue of a tummy, quote unquote, kitambi, you know. Mm -hmm. It gives people stress. I know. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so what, how do you lose that? Uh, it, it's, it's tough. And I understand. You know why I understand that? Yeah. I've come from them. Uh, as I told you, I was at my biggest back in college. How many and, kgs have you guys? Uh, kgs might not put things in perspective. <laughs> Maybe you should see my before pictures. I was actually chubby. I had cellulite on my arms and I was, I was just there. And, and for some reason when you're like that, even your dressing sense is, is different. But I still believe I was fashionable even then. <laughs> anyway, but the thing is, um, especially after the, that time I was just... Yeah, I just had that capot and it didn't hang much until after the babies. And I remember actually this one time looking at myself in the mirror. I think my baby was about three months and I'd actually been working out consistently for like a month. I was careful, I was eating, I was breastfeeding on demand. My baby was gaining a lot of weight yeah. from me. And I was still, you know, I looked at the mirror and the belly still hung there. Yeah. You know, uh, I could not even see my scar, you know, because. Yeah, and, and I wondered whether it was worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And that's the point at which most people give up. You know, you feel like, well, I've been doing a lot and it's not having effect and you give up. Let me tell you, flat belly doesn't come easy. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's true, you can end up getting some toned arms and the belly is still, you know. Some of us, the so... belly is just there, you know. <laughs> the flat, <laughs> I had to, I had to <laughs> but, but yes. Yeah, you're... 
fantastic. <laughs> so the, the, the thing is, um, one, like, after the babies, yeah. the tummy is stretched, the muscles are loose, you've gained uh, quite a bit of fat that was there to protect the, the pregnancy and yeah. all that. So it takes patience. As in, as much as you're watching how you're eating, you're staying away from junk, it takes time. Okay. It, once you have that in your mind, you're on the right track. That is it for takes the time. women. Uh, for men as well. Okay. <laughs> it takes time, and I'll come to the men in a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing is that you have to keep at it. So you have and one big enemy to the tummy. I have said this ad nauseum, but I will say it again. It's sugar. So long as you're sticking to your sugar drink, so long as you're eating a lot of refined carbs, the belly ain't going to be showing mm -hmm. up in... You know, anytime soon. Yeah. Those abs will keep hidden. How to get a flat? I mean, actually, it's to ensure that you shed the fat that's on top to be able to see the abs, to okay. be able to see the muscles. Not everyone wants to see their six pack. Oh man, it takes some effort to make those ones. Mm -hmm. But I have done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're okay. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm not bragging. But the thing is, mind your diet. Yeah. So there are two ways there's harder way and the easier way. Yeah. The easier way is minding your diet. The harder one, if you choose, you know, to have like standard diet and then exercise, you have to exercise so much more. It takes so much more to burn calories than it does to eat them. Okay. As in really downing a plate of a thousand calories might not be so much to write home about. That might be like two, three burgers <laughs> or two burgers and a whole bottle of soda and all like that. Yeah, so it's very, but to burn that could take you two hours. Yeah. So putting things in perspective, you have to monitor both. Exercise, so why do you exercise? You exercise to strengthen the muscles. When you see a six pack, that one has been worked out. It's not, because to pack those two muscles into, yeah. you know, yeah. that one is from working them. Okay. But to see them is burning the fat. So you have to do your cardio. You have to ensure you're not consuming much more of the fat. And you'll be good to go. And time. Yes. Time, patience. Consistency and time. Yeah, most of us want results as soon as possible. Like you know. Yeah, I... but they forget that the time. Even as, like for pregnancy, assume you were really fit and then you're pregnant and now the pot is here with you after the baby comes. It took you nine months. Yeah. So and then for most people to grow that pot, it's taken you five years, ten years, or one year after you got the car, you stopped walking. You decided walking is for the poor. <laughs> okay. All right. And then you got the, you stop being active. So it takes a while. So it also takes a while to walk back. All right. So Farouk from Parklands is calling in. Farouk, good morning. Uh, what exactly is your contribution? Yes, good morning. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm pleased to your program. Yes. And uh, I would like to ask, um, yes, um, um, somehow, I have uh, diabetic people in my, in my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like to ask what are the main two uh, symptoms um, uh, which could show that uh, someone has diabetes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. That is Farouk from Parklands. So the symptoms of diabetes. Okay. <clears throat> the, the earliest symptoms of diabetes um, would be increased thirst. Okay. And, and, and please, if you're watching this, don't, don't be alarmed. If you have symptoms that are of concern, go to a hospital. There's a simple test that can be done to ascertain that, okay. whether you have a problem. But increased thirst, increased tendency, uh, urination, like okay. you're dashing to the washroom every so often. Yes. And then you could be hogging a lot, like eating a lot. Mm -hmm. So you, your appetite has increased and you're becoming very thirsty and you're peeing a lot. Mm. Yeah, so those are the, like, the classic symptoms of diabetes. But for some people, they might miss those symptoms and come to us when they are having visual issues, like you're not able to see well, uh, you notice that you're having tinkling sensation in your feet, or you've gotten this wound, you just discovered it, you didn't know you had it. Um, or, yeah, so, yeah, and some people actually, we diagnose them at the point that their kidneys are starting to fail. Okay. So as in incidental findings. So it's, it's actually good, I would encourage everyone beyond the age of 45, just to routinely, like every three, six months, check, have a random blood sugar done, and, and, and your doctor will be able to advise you accordingly. All right, so yes. I want to But, to uh, yes. sorry to interrupt okay. you, for someone who already has family history of diabetes, before you wait for those symptoms, 
it's very important to prevent that. You're already at risk. I have family history of diabetes. Okay. So it's good to be very active and sure that you have at least a cardio, like brisk walking 30 minutes every day, okay. and watch your, your diet as All well. All right. So James Kitonga is calling from Nairobi. James, good morning. Carry on. Good morning. Yes. Yes. Mine is a question to the doctor. Yes. I wanted her to confirm uh, the ancestry vitamins eh? uh, as a result of maybe overeating or uh, something of that sort. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much, James from okay. Nairobi. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I didn't touch on the vitamins in men. And the vitamins, the vitamins commonly, uh, I would say, is from. Overeating sounds bad, but I'd say yeah. it's eating in excess of what your of your body needs. Okay. So generally, whatever food group, just you're eating in excess, and the other thing is beer for most men. And there are many people with vitamins who don't even consume alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it just tells you that you're eating in excess. And okay. uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and beer, beer has a lot of empty calories. All right. Uh, yeah. So where can we get your book? <laughs> That's a good one. So find my Facebook page, uh, Dr. Fitness, Dr. Written in Full, D-O-C-T-O-R, yes. Fitness. Our number is there. You can reach us. You can inbox us. We are delivering country. We delivered as far as Malindi, Kisumu, Mombasa. Uh, or uh, inbox me on Instagram. Yes. Um, there's Dr. Fitness Kenya. So we, we have our cell phone number there, 0726-859-681. Yes. And you can reach us. We'll be able to deliver. I have an office at KMS Center in Hapa second floor but I am moving I'm opening another shop in Westlands yes. Madonna house AG06 on social media we will keep you posted you'll get to know where we can be found but uh, the book is doing doing well and I believe it's beneficial uh, yeah I've gotten good reviews okay but it's a nice family book. all right thank you very much doctor <laughs> thank you so much coming. Ashley it was okay. really good I hope I can read one of these copies so I can be healthy <laughs> I should find it to you <laughs> you should please an autograph yes <laughs> all right thank you very much for staying with us for the past two hours always a pleasure having you here on Weekend Express. Have a blessed week ahead. I am Ashley Mazuri.